We've got high hopes for this contest with these two fighters. Should be a really good matchup. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me... This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, here is Mexico's first ever undisputed world champion and renowned star of boxing. Here is a four division world champion and an undisputed super middleweight champion of the world, Saul Canet. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Todd, it's a pleasure and an honor to. We're hoping for an all action slugfest. Both men step back for just a moment. Good one. Really good buzz in the air tonight. This crowd waiting for something special. You can walk into an arena and be the hero. The pressure, the expectation, the, the desire from the fans. You can't get away from it. Ignore them. Lock it off. I know it's hard. I can hardly hear you, Todd. You've got to ignore them. Get on with your job. Just misses with that jab. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Good counter punching. You gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. That one lands. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well done with that counter shot. Talk about Alvarez in that last round. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round. And there's the bell to start the round. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't. A chance to make history. Changes everything, and down they go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination, maximum respect. That counter punch on him clean. Need to pick things up here in the second half of the round. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Is that for ever hope? Remember the fight at Evander Holyfield? He could be behind on points until the last 10 seconds, but he's fighting like he's going to put it back. That's the kind of hope we need to see. The jab not finding its target. Perfect counter lands. Good punch. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner is going to have their work put out for them. It's 
Talk about Alvarez in that last round. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. I love the response, though. Got back up, took a deep breath. They ring the bell, and here we go. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes. Are we about to see a first-round knockout? So this was an unexpected turn of events. What happens next? He's got to waste time. Get step behind the referee. When he comes in close, tie him up. The referee's then got to party. Walk around the ring. You've just got to make the most of it. Because if you let him jump back on you again, he's going to get momentum and put him down again. And that's a lot of points to lose in the round. Halfway through the round, and they've got some work to do to get back into it. Not the best start, but you know what? The cornerman that. Oh, my. That's a game changer. Avoided catastrophe there. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Swing and a miss with that jab. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Final 10 seconds here, and this has not been his round for sure. Talk about Alvarez in that last round. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be. They ring the bell, and here we go. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's gotta he's gotta bluff them. If you're a counter puncher, then basically you do the counter attack. You let them get their punch off first, and then you answer in time. You're fighting the counter punch and you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. They both want a knockout, you can tell. That counter shot lands. Defense is not an option for these two. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Whoa, and you saw the balance go. The knees, the foundation, rocked. Apparently, it's going to take more than that to keep this fighter down. So that look at his corner, look at his structure. They're telling him to... It's been all one-way traffic with just 10 seconds to go in the round. That counter shot lands. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. Can make or break a fighter. And there's the bell to start the round. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? Todd, oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? You're always looking for that KO. Back 
back up on his feet, and now he's ready to engage again. He's up, but, but for how long? Look at that. On the heels. Look at it's not there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. It just takes one more clear shot. A clean one. And he's out of there. Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Looks like he's leading halfway through this round. Both of these fighters have the conditioning to go the distance, no problem. They also have the power to end this with one punch. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. Just missed with that hook. That uppercut misses. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. One round, two knockdowns, each by a different fighter. Absolutely crazy. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. What is this round going to look like after all the drama of the previous round where both of these athletes went down? Two knockdowns in the same round to both fighters. How is this going to work? But you know what? The one that was knocked down earlier, he's the one that's got more time to recover. But it's still hard. It still plays on your brain to see what's happened. they got to think like a goldfish. Forget after 10 seconds. they got to be smart. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Oh, my goodness. What pace? What pace? They're like, do you know what Yorkshire Terriers, Tom? That's, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. Throwing the hook, but it doesn't score. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. There's a counter shot. This is one of the best rounds I've seen this year. A good counter punch. It's not always about who hits harder. In this division, ring IQ can go a long way. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. How about Alvarez in that last round? He is down big time on the scores. Every second. And there's the bell to start the round. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until the sense of George Groves stumbling backwards. How is this? Stumbling around in potholes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's back up, but at some point, Johnny, he's got to live to fight another day, doesn't he? Hard. He's up. I, I, I'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up from the stool again? That was a shot. Halfway through the round, and they're struggling a little bit. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. 
has a lot of work to do, and you know what? It's hard to pull back. Don't get into the habit of losing. Don't get into the habit of being second place. You've got to change the habit. You've got to change something, because otherwise, why should it change? No rest for the weary. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Lucky that hook didn't score. They're happy this round's coming to an end. Ten seconds left. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. You're being put down. You've got... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. Punch, counter punch. Well, Johnny, has anything surprised you here as we enter the final frames of this bout? Oh, my goodness. So that little Yorkshire Terriers, they're never going to give up. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. You don't want to trade shots. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw an upset of the year, perhaps right before our eyes. He settled back in, but needs to play some defense. What caught sleeping on the job? What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. A punch and just got countered. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Alvarez in that last round. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs. They ring the bell and here we go. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Nice counter. <laughs> it's all offense all the time. So far, the offense has been better than the defense. Whoa, wait a minute. What a shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. So time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. What a build-up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fighters enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And what a way to end the fight. There's no mistake there about who won. What a shot.